Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a really great piece of artwork with a Japanese theme to it. And that is um, a picture of like a cherry blossom branch with some cherry blossoms on it. It's a really fun activity to do um, and it's really easy, uh, really effective and I'm going to show you how it's done. So for this you're going to need firstly some long strips of white paper. Uh, I've got here some A2 paper, which um, was like that, but I've cut it down the middle. So that's half of an A2, cut lengthways. You're going to need some blue paint. I've just got some blue acrylic paint um, that I've just watered down, kind of like a water wash. But you could use watercolor paint if you wanted. You're going to need some sort of something round as a template, like a, a cup or a coffee mug. You're going to need, of course, um, some brushes. You're going to need some black, watered down black paint or even like a black ink. Um, you're going to need a small paintbrush. You're going to need um, some pink paint. Obviously, I've just mixed some um, red and white together, which I think is better because you can add in some little bits of red and white to it. And the last thing you're going to need is a straw. Okay, I'll show you what that's for in a moment. So, cherry blossom art, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do to start this task is I'm going to put a coffee cup or some sort of something round just on the edge of my page. And then using my blue paint, which is just acrylic paint that's been watered down, I'm just going to lightly paint the background with just a nice blue wash and now I just need to let that dry okay once your page is dry the next part is really really fun and this is how I'm going to make the cherry blossom tree I'm going to start by using some of my watered down black and I'm going to just put a big some blobs of black page down here like this and then using a straw I'm going to blow the ink across the page okay once I'm happy with the shape of my cherry blossom uh, cherry blossom branch, uh, I'm now going to let that dry and then I'm going to add in my cherry blossoms. Okay, once your work is dry, or this is almost dry, now I'm just going to add in my cherry blossoms and my cherry blossoms are going to be pink, so I'm just using a bit of, a bit of red, a bit of white. Going to create the flowers now just using a really small brush i'm just going to dabble some paint at the ends of all the little branches or in different spaces just to give the effects of the cherries cherry blossoms it's like this Okay, and once you're happy that you've done enough cherry blossoms, you can really do as many of, as you like. Um, that's your beautiful piece of cherry blossom artwork finished.